Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Wednesday morning, February 28th. Technical difficulties fixed, FDSA, apologize for no videos. Um, so let's go over real quick what transpired yesterday, really the last two days. Um, again, I'm calling this a four-day balance, NES, okay, NNQ. Remember, NQ came out of an inside day to the downside yesterday, which failed miserably, but now we're... Uh, also in a four-day balance. Um, the market attempted to push down now both Monday and Tuesday. They both produced two of the smallest ranges of the year and two out of the three lightest volumes. So not only are they in the top 10, it, it, they're one in three as far as volume goes. So nobody's participating in this market attempting to push lower. The reason I'm still calling the balance for both of these is I think the bulls should have some respect and use Thursday's low as my balance low. Now, below Thursday's low, we got a tremendous gap. I do not, do not see that gap getting filled the first time in there for ES and or NQ. They might dip their toe into it. You could call the daily down if they take out Thursday's low, but the odds of that gap getting filled without a tremendously strong trend day a slim. Can we get that today? Sure you can. I'm not saying we can't get it, but so far, being in this balance really hasn't produced any real sellers showing up. If you take out Thursday's low, maybe you get more uh, week longs to get out of these four days, and maybe you get some sharks in the water as far as the short sellers. But again, that gap is very large. And the same holds true for NQ. Righty, Gapped higher yesterday. Okay? Right now, they held it yesterday. They even price probed, as did we yesterday. That probe's firmly being rejected. I wasn't using L's high, because like I say, when we probe like that, I want a minimum of 40 to 50 cents above the previous, uh, that, that day's high. Didn't get it, so I wasn't using it. Even if I used it, firmly being rejected. Look at this. We're near the day's low from yesterday. Um... Righty, though, we'll see if they're going to fill that gap. If they take out yesterday's low, back to balance on the daily. ES and NQ are already in balance on the daily. If they gap lower and hold it, you can have another island top. Remember, they had that two, uh, for two days, and it took a while to fill it. So a lot of emotional trading going on here. We have PCE tomorrow morning, one of the big gauges of uh, inflation for the Fed. So um, I still think the Fed has painted themselves into a corner, especially with the big guy basically saying three rate cuts. So um, if that doesn't come to fruition, this market could throw a tantrum. So any inflation-related number is going to be closely watched. We were 10 wide in the overnight above value. Well, look where we're trading now. We even have overnight singles now to the downside. So... Yesterday's low is still not the real important one to me. Yes, we'd be one time framing down three days. Absolutely, we would. You want to call it down, you can certainly do that. I wouldn't call the daily down until we take out Thursday's low. However, doesn't mean I wouldn't be looking for shorts, right? Just like yesterday. I had a good day yesterday. Um, once things changed, I changed, right? Once we stopped the one, uh, I was gone for two hours in the afternoon, so I wasn't here when this originally started. But early in the day, I was looking for shorts. They couldn't get the opening. Um, they actually attempted to go trend down in ES and trend up for a tick or two. Both of them failed. We got both sides of the IB and the overnight. That IB is over 50% so far this year. Very interesting. But Thursday's low, not to yesterday's low, is the important one. So if you were to pull back, you could certainly take a long against yesterday's low to front run the overnight low or wait a little more to front run the overnight low. Below that, I'd be out because I would think at some point they do test Thursday's low then. Okay? That's number one. On the flip side, if they don't get the overnight low and push up, you're certainly going to go get that nine wide pock. And then you see how you react at value high and A's high. Remember, they attempted to have change take place late in the day, L and M. It failed. So if you were to push up against A's high. Now, if we didn't get the overnight low, I'd be a little more hesitant, but I'll still take that trade. 
But I'll tell you what, if we got the overnight low, again, even though we've gotten both sides again recently, I would certainly take that short against both value high and A high the first time. Again, these are all early plays. You know, these videos are a help and a guide, but that's all they are. When you're in the trading room, we're talking about this for six and a half hours while this profile is being live streamed. Um, and then chart-wise, I'll just show you the daily. Weekly is still up and healthy. So here it is, your four-day balance. Gap is the main focus, as is the 20-day moving average. Now, SPY's gap gets filled at 497.37. 20-day moving average as of yesterday was 497.94. So you'd actually have to touch the 20-day moving average and get through it to go fill that gap at some point. So just keep that in mind. Yesterday, lightest volume of the year so far. Good luck trading today, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.